That winter weather advisory in effect for the city. Indy snow force crews are preparing to hit the streets, doing everything they can to make sure the roads are clear and safe for all the drivers. Fox 59's Alexis McAdams is live on the northwest side with details. Alexis. Yeah, Jake, those Indy Snow Force crews will be out on the roadways in less than one hour. Now they're trying to get one step ahead for when all of this rain turns to snow and ice. Indy Snow Force crews are hitting the streets. We'll have about 86 drivers working throughout the overnight hours, taking extra care on those bridges and overpasses. Prepping the roadways and getting ready for an estimated one to three inches of snow that will fall overnight into Sunday morning. We are going to see a temperature drop, which is why we are deploying Snow Force, just to make sure that we can cover any icy patches that we may see arise. 113 DPW drivers will hit the roads again tomorrow morning to treat icy patches, focusing on the bridges and over passes, which tend to freeze faster since they're elevated. Crews will continue to work throughout Sunday with another shift that will keep roads clear for the Monday morning commute. Our plan is to just watch the weather. I mean, we are part-time meteorologists, full-time snow people. This is what we do. The snowfall comes after weeks of unseasonably warm temperatures along with today's rainfall. Because of that rain, crews could not pre-treat. That preparation is happening throughout tonight. The more the temperatures fall, the less effective salt becomes. Salt is really pretty effective to about 20 degrees. I mean, it'll keep uh, melting uh, down into the teens and perhaps even the single digits, but it really slows down that reaction. The temperatures will be well below freezing, and Hoosiers are stocking up on winter weather supplies. Salt, shovels, de-icer. But I mean, just typical first snowstorm of the year. The temperatures are going to drop and there's been obviously rain today, so it looks like more people are worried about ice. Strong winds could also create problems with blowing snow. Plus, with slick spots and low visibility, drivers need to be very careful. It's not the winter weather that causes crashes. It's people that, uh, drivers that don't change their driving behavior for the conditions. Especially since we have not had much snowfall this season, drivers need to be especially careful out there on the roadways. So make sure you stay a safe distance back from those snow plows that will be out throughout tomorrow, keeping everyone safe. And as we're out here right now, you can already tell that temperatures are rapidly dropping and that winter weather advisory will be in effect through tomorrow afternoon. We're live on the northwest side tonight. I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox 59 News. All right, Alexis, thanks very much. Get inside, get warm. We'll make sure you do.